Hi, it's Maggie. It's September, and today's prompt for September 6th is fussy cutting. I'm sorry, September 5th is fussy cutting. And oh, I guess I'm a day late and a dollar short on this video. I'm sorry. Oh, it was not a very good weekend for me. <laughs> I had food poisoning from Friday to yesterday. And it, I won't go into detail, but the symptoms kind of eased off after 24 hours. But I just hurt. Like my guts hurt. My back hurt. So anyway, I hope you had a good Labor Day weekend. Today's prompt is fussy cutting. And maybe this doesn't count as fussy cutting, but it counts for me. <laughs> because I'm not good at fussy cutting. I don't have the patience. My hands are a little bit shaky when I try to do like intricate things. Um, yeah. So it, it counts for me. I don't know if you would count it, but so this picture is my husband and we're making steaks on um, his new big green egg. And everything we've made on this thing is amazing. We've made um, steaks, we've made We've, like, cooked pizza on it, um, pork butt. I mean, just everything we've made on it is just turns out excellent. But this steak that is right here in the pictures, this is probably the best steak I've ever had in my life. And that's including, like, restaurant steaks and, oh, my gosh, it was just so good. The spices that he used were a little salty. I could tell that they had um, a lot of sodium. But other than that, I mean, the, the flavor of the meat was just perfect. It was smoky. So my title is going to be The Wonder of the Big Green Egg. And in a second, I'll fix my camera. I'm sorry. So I, I end up scrapping <laughs> some of these letters here and using something else because my title's too big. So, um, I wanted to use that purple scrap just because I like it. And then I decided I was going to, um, like wrap baker's twine around the layout which is fine but then I tried to like tie it in a bow and I didn't like the bow so that was kind of a mess but <laughs> I like the baker's twine and it's purple I like to use purple when I can since it's not really very available, I guess, in the scrapbooking world. So there's that. And here I'm trying to mess with the bow and I just, I cut that out, forget it. Placing the title and I'm like, oh, where am I going to put the other letters? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think the prompt for today, which is the sixth, is use something you hoard. And that's just my whole craft room. So, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to be able to get downstairs today to make a layout and edit it 
and do the voiceover. So I'm going to have to probably skip that one and work on the next one or the one after that maybe. I have some epoxy wood buttons, I guess, from Freckled Fawn. And some just epoxy dots, also from Freckled Fawn. And I'm going to use those. And now, right now, I'm looking at my letters. What am I going to do? And that just works perfect. There we go. Finally, got the title placed. That little epoxy wood button that I just put down. It's a smiley face. It's so cute. I forgot I put dots on it too. The wonder of a big green egg. It sounds like a children's storybook, doesn't it? The wonder of the big green egg. And then I just use this little punch to just bring something up to the top. and I run some glue and I put too much glue, but it's fine. It dried clear, so it's fine. That's just scrapbook.com's brand, liquid adhesive. And here's the close-ups. Look at the little smiley face. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a great day.